Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos about fragrance hauls and more. If that sounds like your jam, please consider subscribing to become a part of the family. And don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. With that said, I also want to make a parenthesis here to let you know that I am going to be recording several videos today. So you're going to see me in the same outfit, same shirt. On several videos are gonna be pre-recorded so that said now we can go ahead and get into it before I get started I did want to also point out that I kind of look to different directions because I have my monitor here helping me see because I have glasses and have a hard time seeing I cannot see my camera's little screen it's too small for me so I have to use a monitor so that is the reason why you'll see me kind of looking different directions when I'm talking on the camera. So I wanted to go ahead and mention that because I did see a comment saying that it was kind of mirrored and I think it is, but again, it kind of helps me better see what I'm doing and to make sure that I'm in focus. So, okay, so let's get right into it. One of the fragrances that I've been wearing super, super much, let me go ahead and pull up all of my information so I don't miss anything here. So, one of the fragrances that I've currently been wearing so, so much is the Dolce & Gabbana The Only One Perfume. That is how she looks. I love the bottle. The presentation is so beautiful. Even the top is just so, so cute. This fragrance really has blown me away. To me, this is a very sweet and it has a hint of powderiness to it. I definitely smell vanilla, fruity, a hint of warm and spicy type of note in here. It's very classy, I feel like. It's fruity without being too overly sweet. And this fragrance to me, I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but to me this smells like cherries. It's just very cherry. But I really, really like it. It's a very classy fragrance and I've been wearing this a lot. And I am super happy that I'm having this in my collection. And if this ever runs out, I am buying another one for sure. The next one that I've been really enjoying is... Let me see here. Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. Now, this fragrance, I know that some people don't necessarily love it, but I think it's such a beautiful fragrance. Starting with the bottle, looking at all that detail that it has is just so, so beautiful. If you can see right here, it has the cherries, it has the little kitten, it has a banana. It's just so beautiful. It's eye candy for sure. I feel like this fragrance just called my name because I love almond fragrances and this one you can definitely pick that up on it it's very almond very sweet and it definitely has a very white floral type of vibe that I really really like it so if you have not tried this I recommend that you go and try it out some people are not a fan of it so I don't think this is a safe blind buy in my opinion on me it just projects amazing as well so I think that this is a good one if you like very almond type fragrances so that is another one that I've been wearing quite a lot this month next we have flower balm and that is how she looks very very pretty very classy looking as well this one is also a very vanilla fragrance the reason why you'll see that i'm wearing a lot of these type of fragrances is because here in texas is currently pretty cold and so this is what better suits this season for me at least so this is a very sweet very kind of ambery in a way it's a little bit warm and spicy it's floral but it's so so sweet 
and this one lasts a pretty pretty long time i think it lasts about six hours so it's beautiful the projection it starts very out there but then it kind of narrows down it kind of calms down after it settles into your skin or onto your clothes but it's definitely a beautiful fragrance I was very very surprised I did not know how I was going to feel about the gunpowder note but it's not that prominent in my opinion and it does not last throughout the whole fragrance it's just on the top note again it's very very sweet so if you don't like secondly sweet fragrances I would suggest you to stay away from this one the next one is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Celebration that is how she looks also it's a hint it has a hint of pink on the actual glass. I feel like it has the bombshell DNA, but it's not that prominent compared to the other flankers that they, they've taken out. So this one is a hint of woody with floral and fresh, and at the same time, it's a little sweet. You can definitely smell champagne in here, so if you like those bubbly type of fragrances, I would suggest you try this out and see if you like it i think this has been a great for me i've worn it several times this month and it's kind of it works because it's not overly sweet but at the same time it's something that's safe to grab and go so that is bombshell celebration the next one is a bombshell seduction this by far is my favorite Victoria's Secret fragrance. I absolutely love this. I don't know what it is, but I just really love it. This is how the bottle looks. It's so, so pretty. It has this blush toned down pink. It's super beautiful. That There you go. You can see it better there. And this, to me, it's such a beautiful fragrance to wear when it's cold outside, for sure. This one, to me, is a bit musky. I feel like it has rose. Very powdery. A hint herbal. But in general, this is so, so beautiful. I feel like the sage in here really really works well in the fragrance it has musk it has tuberose i feel like it's underrated i don't feel like people talk about this enough and i will continue to repurchase this year after year hopefully they never discontinue this because i absolutely love it the next one is by aquilina and this is pink sugar red velvet this is another flanker that they took out and i'm so so glad that they did this one to me is very sweet fruity it has vanilla in there it definitely has the pink sugar dna but it's a bit more sweet so if you didn't like the regular pink sugar at the end it kind of has this licorice note and some people are not a fan of that this one does not have that this one has a more strawberry kind of chocolatey cakey type of scent so i feel like it lingers really beautiful in your skin the base notes with that vanilla and it's still sweet all in all very well balanced it is a hint synthetic but that's just all of the pink sugar line you get a hint of syntheticness on the strawberry note or on the vanilla or on whatever note it is. But if you don't mind that, again, this is such a beautiful fragrance to wear. And I've been pairing that with strawberry pound cake. Or you can even try uh, pink velvet sugar. That's what it is. Pink vel velvet sugar and strawberry pound cake mixes so well with this. So these definitely pair well together. Strawberry pound cake, if you have not smelt this, the notes for this one is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. It's very, very sweet, very gourmand, but it's absolutely beautiful. And these paired together are so, so good. So this is what I've been wearing a lot this month as well. The next one I would say is a fairy tale by Bath & Body Works. This is how she looks. I feel like everybody has talked about this because 
People have said that this is a dupe for the Lieb perfume from YSL. I don't personally own that, but I definitely do think that this is absolutely worth the money. This is so beautiful. This absolutely smells like a perfume, not a body mist. And the longevity of this is not that great, but if you continue to spray it throughout the day, um, it's pretty good. I have really enjoyed this one and I don't know if it's a dupe or not, but if it is, like I've heard so many people say, then it's absolutely worth it. If you have not tried this out, please do. It's super beautiful. This fragrance has pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. Again, it's a very warm and cozy type of fragrance, especially wearing this when it's cold outside i feel like it kind of makes you feel like you're getting a warm hug so i feel like you should try that out for sure the next one is berry blast now this is another one from aquilina pink sugar line another fragrance that i was mesmerized by the moment that i smelled this i fell in love this fragrance to me smells very sweet very fruity it has a caramel note that lingers so beautiful on the skin you can smell a little bit of cherry you can smell strawberry you can smell a lot of berries in here truly you have blackberry blueberry you have orange you have cotton candy we, we have cherry we have a lot of fragrance notes on this one so it's definitely one that i recommend you trying out this is one of my favorite ones from the line i was very very impressed by this so let me go ahead and read you the notes the notes for this one are blackberry raspberry orange bergamot and then middle notes of cotton candy cherry wild strawberry and cork base notes of caramel vanilla tonka bean cedar and moss you can smell all of the berries it's very sugary very sweet very vanilla caramel it's just a beautiful blend of notes and I really, really, really enjoy this. Now, if you want to pair this with another one, it's Whipped Berry Meringue by Bath & Body Works. I feel like this is another one that's just so good. If you have not smelled this, this one has fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. And this is from their new brunch line that they came out with. So these two combined are so beautiful as well and i've been wearing it like that too so that is that one and very lastly i wanted to share with you guys this one that has made it to my collection not too long ago this is the brazilian crush rosa number 71 and this is a caramelized vanilla and macadamia this is a beautiful fragrance i shared it with you guys on my last haul this is a very sweet caramel vanilla nutty type of fragrance i feel like it kind of smells like chocolate in a way too it definitely smells like caramelized popcorn but this is beautiful and even better if you pair it with coconut cream pie by Bath & Body Works if you have not tried this one this one has notes of toasted coconut flakes caramel custard and golden pie crust and together it smells absolutely amazing I've gotten so many compliments wearing these together so definitely try that out I absolutely recommend it it's very warm cozy again it feels like something that you want to wear when it's really cold out and it's absolutely beautiful even coconut cream pie on its own it's just so nice but paired together is just best of both worlds it's amazing and that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching please let me know what are your favorites what are the things that you've been purchasing lately please let me know in the comments down below i'm always reading those Thank you for all of the love and support for all of the people that have subscribed and if you're new again thank you so much for staying till the end please let me know in the comments down below what are your favorites of this month also let me know what are the new purchases you've made and i will be reading all of those comments answering back to all of you thank you so much again and i will see you on my next one bye